you know, I had gotten emails from you, from Connie, from Kathy, and I saw their process work, but for some reason, I didn't think they would work for me. And um, I talked to people. That's what I did instead of emails. I used the emails to remind people when to come and things. And, uh, you know, I still got the same results as far as the, the percentage of conversion because I have a little over 300 emails or lists of emails. And I still had five people buy tickets to come to my event. And, and even when I got to the event, it was like, oh, is anyone going to come? You know, you sell the tickets and then it's like, am I just going to be here by myself? And no, uh, three people came out of the five and actually a fourth was trying to get there, but had a family member with some health problems. So huh, I, I don't even know what to say. I think one of the things I would share is that I finally, finally, finally know that the transformation is not my responsibility. Offering what God has given me as a gift, all the knowledge, all the expertise, that's my job. God does the transformation. And knowing that now, yeah, it's changed everything. And it makes it, I think, more of a, a motivation for me, at least, to put it out there. Uh -huh. It's my job to put it out there. Put it out there to as many people as possible, because unless it's out there, then they can't get that transformation. They can't let God work. But um, exactly. tell me more about these conversations, because you said you had 300 people on your list, but you didn't really send the emails. You <laughs> talked to the people. I did. Um, and I, I know they didn't just show up at your door in Nicaragua. So Tell us, tell us what that process was like when you say I talked to people to get them to my event. What did that look like? Well, I presented at a couple of events um, to groups of people who included my target market, but I had learned the languaging, the, the words that are in the email system from working with Katie. And I used that, that methodology in my conversations. I had a couple of people that I followed up with one-on-one um, -on -one conversations with, and that made a huge difference. You know, they were on the fence, not sure if they wanted a ticket. And once I talked to them, they just went and bought. So, and, and with talking to them and being on the fence, is there, is there anything specific that you felt like really helped to, to help them make the right decision about whether or not to be there? I think, for me, I felt like it was get them getting to know me a little bit better because they were people who had seen me, they were acquainted with me, but they didn't really know what I had to offer. Mm -hmm. Relationship. Relationship is huge. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. it. So one of the things about doing these launches and things is that it takes some time to process afterwards. And through that processing that's where my biggest, my personal transformation occurred. And I do the same work in my ministry for free that I do in my business. In my ministry, I didn't question my ability. I knew that God was giving me what the words to say, the information to share, no question. I just trusted him and went forward. But in my business, I was thinking, I'm charging money. I have to really do this well, which I do in my ministry. I do it well. But I had tied the outcome and the connection of money to how I delivered it. And it, it actually had, um, I'm trying to think of the word, but it, it had stopped me almost, you know, it was controlling my ability to do things, even though God had given me all of that. And I had a huge revelation in that it's not about the money. It's about what he has given you or me. And he has given us these things and we have the responsibility to share them 
whether we charge or don't charge, but when you charge, it's no different. It's not about the money. It's about touching people's lives. And by serving our clients, we're touching people's lives. And I had a chance to pour into some of my ministry, the ladies I minister to here in Nicaragua this week. And I told them, by touching, by doing your business, you're touching their lives. Whether, whether you're selling peanuts to someone or a frozen popsicle that you made at home, you're still touching their life by your service. And it's huge. And God, I just, God really wants us to get past those things. He did me anyway. And, um, you know, I hope this helps somebody else get past those things too, because it's not about us. It's about what God has given us and us sharing it with others. And then he does all the rest. Yeah. Great reminder. One last word of advice from any of you. If you could say something, if the people here could walk away with one thing, what would you leave with them? Trust, trust what Katie tells you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. you.